Hey everybody, Steve Chase here from Sequential Solutions. This video, we're gonna talk about how you can add multiple logos in your QuickBooks online invoices, which is what I've told a relatively uh, new feature. So I'm going to give it a try, realizing that I've not done this before and I am hoping to explore with you how to do it. So uh, what we wanna do is we want to create a video uh, that will show how to add multiple logos, uh, colors that match your logo, explore different QuickBooks Online themes around your logos, format your invoices for future use, and uh, customize uh, the default settings there. So, hey, let's go ahead and begin here, okay? Uh, so, first of all, I am in a sample QuickBooks trial account, and the first thing that you do when you get set up um, is you're gonna navigate to adding your primary logo. And you can do that a couple ways. You'll see on the dashboard, it's gonna be a little button here that will take you to the accounts and settings. Also, we'll just navigate to the gear and go this route as well. So when you get into your account and settings, we're gonna click the logo button here, little plus sign. And um, let me go ahead and find, find one here to do that. It popped up on my other screen here. Here we go. Okay, so I'd like to add the square logo here as my primary logo. So there's my default. I'm gonna click again and add a black and white one. So already I can tell there this is new. In the old versions, you could not keep selecting multiple ones. So it appears as if the default is going to be the last one that you made the selection. So I don't think you can, not sure. Um, how to make the default the first one I picked. Other, I guess if I deleted that, yep. And then I came here and added it last. Well, there you go. So I love learning new things. There we go. So that's how you start off out the gate adding logos. Remember that. The last one you add is gonna be your default logo. Okay, so you save that. And now it's time to go to <clears throat> customizing the forms. To do that, select the gear icon. And then from here, there's an option for custom form styles. And everybody's gonna start off with the master type standard which means if you make changes to the master, if you have other templates that are built from the master, those changes will kind of cascade down and flow through it. So we have a couple options here. We can edit the master and then use that as our base and then add new styles. Or if you wanted to, you could go and create a new style off the bat. A little tricky here to think about that, but basically what I recommend would be start off editing the master. Okay, and so when you do that, you'll, you'll then be able to start off with uh, these main tabs up here. So I'm gonna jump right in and dive in with the template. And what I have here is uh, a preview of different options that I like, okay? so. Um, I'm gonna go with friendly. Now I like to have this blue here change to the blue in my logo. So I'm gonna click make logo edits. And then the trick is I just take my mouse pointer and if you can see that I am gonna hover over the blue of my logo. And you see how that changed there? I can also you know, click on the green to maybe hopefully share, share with you. I can click on each of these little uh, round rectangles of my logo for the, that Fibonacci sequence there to select it. Okay, so after I pick the one I like, I'm happy with that. 
I think. <laughs> All right, I'm happy with that, I, I believe. Okay, I can make the logo uh, small, medium, or large. Can place the logo on the left, mid, or right. Okay, and uh, there we go. So that's, and now I'm gonna select my fonts, get choosy with my fonts, Helvetica. You can see that, and um, <clears throat> eight, 10, or 12 points. Okay, so that is um, how we do that. Then we'll go to content. Now the content allows us to dive into a section. So if I click on the upper section, it'll allow me to show my phone number or not show my phone number, show my email, not show my email, that kind of thing here. It'll allow us to change what we would like the customer to see. So uh, it says invoice, estimate, or sales receipt. Those are the three types of fo sales forms that you can have, you can customize name for it, you can capitalize letters if you like here. Use form numbers, use custom transaction numbers if you wanted to uh, directly change your invoice number. And then uh, we've got opportunities of adding custom fields. You can go up to three custom fields in the QuickBooks Online, simple pl through plus, but with advanced, I, I know advanced is gonna be a little bit different and more, more options there for you on that. Okay, as far as emails go, uh, this is going to be a preview. You have the ability to have a standard email. Uh, you can select a greeting line such as dear first name. And it just says, here's your invoice. We appreciate your prompt payment. Well, um, we might want to change that up here to say, we appreciate your business. And it is a pleasure serving your business needs. Okay, so I might change this out. And uh, then when we click on it, we'll be able to see a little preview here of that. Okay, you should be connected to your QuickBooks payments account, merchant account, if you don't have one, it's free to sign up and um, you just need a, your EIN number and choose the bank account you'd like the payments to go into. Uh, so a bank transfer is free. So you have the ability to have your customers pay online through a bank transfer and credit card. Okay, with credit card, there are fees associated with credit card payments, like 2.9% plus 25 cents per transaction. Um, the ACH is free. However, you can do a 1% fee to get the money next day. If not the without the bank, the bank fees by itself that are free, or maybe, maybe a quarter, I, I think they're completely free now, but those can take up to eight days to get your money. Uh, but the good side of the news is it's free. There's no fees for that. <clears throat> All right, so at this point, we're gonna click done. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into using it, so if I select the icon to create a new invoice. Select customer, just really quick here. Okay. All right, so if we were to click save, okay, the print preview. It's going to look like this. All right. Awesome. Okay. So now what I'm going to want to, what I'd like to do is show you this right here where it says more. Uh, I'm sorry, customize. This is where we would have the ability to choose where you pick the invoice that's associated with your logo. Okay. So I'm gonna create another uh, invoice and I'm gonna call it black and white logo. So new style invoice. Okay, so I'm gonna click uh, black and white logo. So now if we were to click make logo edits. Uh, I'm gonna click this little plus symbol there Oh boy, 
so there's nothing here that I'm seeing. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Wow, it looked like it even kept the same position of the color. I'm not sure if that was, I don't know, but uh, anyways, uh, maybe maybe I had clicked on one of these and I didn't know it, but I'm going to um, put on the left side now like that. Yes, I like that. I'm going to choose a different font. Okay. And um, I'm gonna, yeah, here we go, black and white logo. I also might have different sales staff members that are saying out different logos. So I might have one that I specifically have set up for sales rep A, sales rep B, sales rep C, and that kind of thing, which then could give me an opportunity here that has a default A, for example, you know, something and and their phone number so if, if there's something that if I've got sales rep B that has phone number one two three four I might have that that in the message to the customer there for that setting there so awesome oh so emails I can attach a PDF here I forgot to, to mention that or summarize details in the body of it so I like the PDF attached done okay so now I'm going to create my third one and I'll call it sales rep B for emails. I would like to say sales rep B and their phone number. Three. Okay. A little different there. All right. And then what the heck, we'll go up and change the logo. Let's just change it completely. I'll do modern. Do a rectangle this time. There we go. It's interesting that it's automatically changing the color of the automatically. I didn't click anything there, so that's, that's kind of creative, I think. That's pretty cool. It's automatically picking a color, I guess, based on the logo. It's just seeing that, so I like that. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, so let's go, let's go in the middle this time. Yeah, right. It's best. Okay. Done. Uh Oh, error. You and Steve Chase are working on this at the same time. Steve Chase finished before you did. So your work was not saved. <laughs> okay. All right. So I don't know what that means. Um, oh, it looks like it did save it right here, guys. So I'm just going to rename that. Yeah, it did save it. Okay. So I think that was just a glitch there. Okay. So now here, here it comes. So now I am logged in. I'm going to select invoice. Okay, save. Okay, now here we go. So I'm gonna click on customize to, to be able to select who, how I'd like the invoice to go out. So that's where it's gonna be real important that you name them accordingly. So I've got standard, which is the master. I'm gonna switch to sales rep B, save it. Let's do a quick print preview. Okay, so that was B, right? Um, I'm going to switch it to sales rep A, which should be the black and white. Yeah, here's the deal, guys. You can also click save and send as well, assuming you have a customer email here. You are going to want to have these checked here, but I haven't set up my, my, my payment here, so that's probably why they didn't take. Um, there we go. So you can see the message body right here it has the sales A representative's information here. And um, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So guys, I hope you learned something new. 
uh, today. And uh, it, we talked about, uh, going back for the review, we talked about adding multiple logos in QuickBooks Online, choosing colors that match your font, exploring the different themes and how they've had a new upgrade, recently upgrade with a new fresh look, formatting those invoices for your use, and uh, customizing uh, your messages for that. Um, we ought to have a default version here. So I, I just want to take it one step further here and learn how to set a default because I would hate to not, I would hate to um, miss one accidentally. So if you're going to use one more than the others, how are we going to do that? So I'm going to go into edit current and see if I missed anywhere to make a default. Um, I don't think it's here. Pardon me here. So I would go to the right. Uh, there it is. Yes. So there we have the drop down to the right. Pick the one you want to make the default and click make default. Oh, right here in front of my face right here. So otherwise, if you don't do that, then by default, the master should be the default, I believe. Okay. That is fantastic there. Okay. If you'd like more help, uh, please check our website out at sequentialsolutions.com or send me an email at stevechase at sequentialsolutions.com to see if I can be any assistance answering any uh, questions you might have on this particular video. Take care.